So on my channel now, I've made a lot of videos going over the likes of weapons and base attack and expressing the importance and effectiveness of both of them and how important they are in terms of account building nowadays. Now, farming up base attacks, obviously, particularly if you've watched my recent video going over the drop rates of certain rarities alongside the drop rate of base attack, the numbers in there become quite scary, honestly, if you're looking to properly farm good base attacks onto good weapons. So to get ancient base attacks, the approximate value will be this tab here in the far right. So if you're rolling onto a 100 or reroll weapon, getting an ancient base would average out at about 35,000 reforge ore to actually get that. So that had me thinking, how exactly can you rush to that point with some form of efficiency? So I mapped out the efficiency for reforge ore per black diamond for all forms of buying reforge ore currently in the game. This is of course just paid options, so of course the likes of the Alliance boss is another very good option of getting this, and we'll average out at probably somewhere around $25 to $30 worth of reforge ore every week, which if you're not doing trains and you're not locking yourself out of those rewards, will really add up and help you long term farming up good base stacks. But if you are doing trains and you're locking yourself out of them, if you're looking to push your base attacks further than just what the Alliance boss allows you to do, then you're going to have to probably dip your toes into the options here. And in terms of efficiency, the bar we're probably going to want to look at here is about 5 and up, which is only the Iron Bank and then the four tiers of the Reforged Journey Pack. The first two tiers without discounts or, of course, with discounts. And the 500 and 1000 BD packs with 50% discounts, which if you're looking to get, you're probably going to be buying out the self-discounting pack, so the prices will be inflated a bit higher and reduce the efficiency listed. You can see the likes of the Archery Contest variants of Hunting Festival and Archery Contest. Very low efficiency. This is the a full board clear of both. All stages of the weapon packs as well, also very very bad efficiency even with good discounts on them. So for me at least, the way I'm approaching this is using the scheduling of Monday and Saturday for the Reforge journey, and I'm trying to buy out these first two tiers on both the Monday and Saturday with 50% discounts. This is quite easy to do because on Friday you have Path of Ascendance and the Pandemic coupon, so you can get the Pandemic coupon by the first two tiers of Path of Ascendance, then by the first two tiers of this. That's Saturday sorted. Monday, you have Merchants of King's Landing, you have Monthly Surprise Pack, you have Monday coupons as well. So again, there are various ways of getting good discounts onto that Monday version of it as well. Will of course still add up in terms of price, but long term, I think probably doing that every week on the Monday and the Saturday, couponing them both well and just grinding away at that over time will be the most efficient way of buying up more Reforge Ore. I thought it was this anyway, but the data of course now backs it up. So if you want to steal that method as well, then you're more than welcome to. I've said before, I do hope they add more efficient ways of getting Reforge Ore, because the prices are just indirectly so, so high that the options here just aren't enough. It makes it very, very luck-based, which it always will be, I guess, but there's just not enough sources to balance out negative luck elements. I do hope self-discounting pack for Reforge Draw comes out at some point, but until then, this is what we currently have to operate with for now.